Hey, family of God, it is time for good news for children on this Ash Wednesday. Children, I have three songs from worship. Listen to me sing a little bit of all three of these songs. Tell me, do you notice something that is the same about each of these songs? First song. Hallelujah, we sing your praises. All our hearts are filled with gladness. Okay. Second song goes like this. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Listen to the third song. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Did you notice? Yeah, all those songs use the special word, Alleluia. We use that word in worship here at church, and it means praise the Lord. It's a special song that we use a lot, in, especially in our songs. But now we are starting the six weeks before Easter. This is the season of Lent. And we have the tradition at Shepherd of the Valley of not using the word Alleluia. We are going to bury the Alleluia. So, hey, come here. Come close. Today, we're going to do a special project together. We're going to bury the Alleluia. So I invite you, no matter how old or how young you are, to join me to put away our Alleluias until Easter. Here, I'll tell you what we're going to do. If you have the Lent gift bag from Shepherd of the Valley, you'll have inside of it a small envelope along with a piece of paper. Now, if you didn't get this gift bag from Shepherd of the Valley, you can also get your own envelope and a piece of paper from home. And now, on this piece of paper, we are going to open it up and write in really big letters the word Alleluia. Here, I'll show you. Alleluia is spelled A-L-L-E-L. U-I-A, so here's my first alleluia on the small piece of paper. But then if you have a bigger piece of paper, you can also write the word alleluia. And this time I'm using cursive to write. But you can write your word alleluia any way that you want to. Or, if you happen to have a great big piece of paper, you could write a huge hallelujah like this one. I'm using big block letters now for this hallelujah. And there's going to be something special that we'll do with this on Easter Sunday. I'll tell you about it in a moment. Now, take the piece of paper with hallelujah written on it and Let's put it away. Place it inside your envelope. Or if you have a medium-sized piece of paper, it'll go into your envelope that you will find at home. Or you might have a piece of paper that won't fit into any envelope, and you might just have to fold it up, but then set it aside in a very special place, and you will write on your envelope... Don't open until Easter. Put it on your refrigerator. Put it in a special place. Save your envelope for Easter Sunday because I'm going to come back with the good news for children on Easter as we celebrate the resurrection. And we will open up our envelopes together. And during worship, before worship or after worship, you will be invited to color and decorate your Alleluia so it is a praise the Lord piece of artwork celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Huh, I wonder what mine will look like after I decorate my Alleluia page. Okay, but until then, shh. No more alleluias in worship <laughs> until we rejoice on Easter Sunday. Okay, let's end our good news for children with a prayer together. Dear God, we praise your name. And during these weeks before Easter, we put away our alleluias. But then we will rejoice with you and all people. So give us deep faith 
to walk with you and each other until then. Amen.